friends, welcome to Monday morning. It is time for a grocery haul. I know it's been a hot minute, but we're back. Let me show you all the things that we got from King Supers for the week ahead. This is for breakfast, lunch, and dinners. We are a family of four. We live in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and we attempt to keep our grocery budget to $200 per week. And this today was delivered to us, so we didn't have to go anywhere. Starting on this side of the counter, we have our yogurts for the week. Joanna picked strawberry, vanilla, and blueberry. And then I got these for myself for the week. They were on sale if you purchased five. So that's what I have here. Now let's talk drinks because there's a lot of different drinks. I've just grouped them all together. We have orange juice for Thomas to grab and go in the morning. Some juicy juice apple juice boxes for Joanna for this week for school. We have a bunch of the Bolt House Farms strawberry banana smoothies. These were buy one, get one free and Melanie requested smoothies for breakfast for the week. Two half gallons of 2% milk and then a bunch of different sodas in the back, all store brand. These were a dollar a piece. So we have one orange soda, one cherry cola, two of the zero sugar cherry cola for myself, two of the lemon lime, and two of the Big K Cola. And then last of the drinks here in front, my Mountain Dew energy drinks for the week. I have four of the Strawberry Melon Spark and four of the Blueberry Pomegranate. Here in the front, we have Lunchables for Joanna. They are all of the turkey and American cheese. These were not on sale this week. They were $2.49 a piece. Ouch, the price on these keep going up. I have some bagels for myself for breakfast with that yogurt and then a um, loaf of Wonder Bread for whatever we will use it for this week. Sometimes that's grilled cheese, sometimes that's peanut butter, whatever the case might be, we've got bread for it. I have some craft Singles here in the back. We love this in our eggs and for grilled cheese, like I said, and we are almost out. And then a bunch of boxes of macaroni and cheese, just the original flavor. There are six of those there. Moving on to frozen things and everything else, we have two packages of fettuccine, excuse me, I said that weird, fettuccine Alfredo bowls, as well as two Marie Callender pot pies. Isn't that interesting? Thomas and I wanted to try these this week. Broccoli cheddar and potato pot pie. Never tried that one. Marie Callender's has several different kinds. There's one with like Parmesan cheese and a couple of other different varieties. So we figured we'll give this one a try this week, but Mel does not like them, which is why I got her the fettuccine Alfredo. And there was a coupon if you purchased four Marie Callender items, you got $2 off. Here in the front for myself for lunches for the week for work, I'm home, um, and so I like to have something that's super quick and easy for me to get access to, or else I tend to work through lunch and then wonder why I am so hungry in the afternoons. So I have some water crisp crackers to go with this amazing dip, which is so delicious. It's Gruyere and caramelized onion dip with cream cheese. It is so good, friends. So I'm gonna have that with the crackers, and then we got grapes, which you'll see in a minute, which I'm gonna have with this as well. Very Parisian, but super easy to put together and eat in the afternoons. This was a request from Joanna Banana, was some Oreos for snack this week. So we're gonna open these up and put them into snack bags for both kids. We have the golden Oreos party size, as well as the original Oreo party size. In the back, we have some fudge bars for dessert. We needed stuff for the cat. Specifically, we needed cat litter, so that's there, as well as cat food. She is nearly out and suffering. You know how it is with cats. So this week, we've got her the Friskies Seafood Sensations. I typically go for the indoor formula cat food, but they didn't have that in stock, no big. Um, here are the grapes that I referenced before. Big old box of those. I need to break this down, get them cleaned, take them off the vine. That way they're ready to eat for the week. We have some Megabyte Goldfish. This I just got for myself as a snack. Some Welch's Berries and Cherries fruit snacks for both kids. Some butter, because everything's better with butter. We needed more Clorox wipes. And last but not least, Joanna requested 
fruity pebbles for her breakfast for this week. Okay, groceries have now been put away, which feels great. Our total for everything came out to $207.43, I feel like was the change on that, for the week ahead, which is not too bad. Like I said before, we attempt to keep our groceries to $200 per week. And considering that this week we had cat food as well as the cat litter, I think that's pretty darn good. As you saw, there was not a ton of meats in this haul. We still have meat left over from last week that we need to utilize for the week ahead for dinners and meals and such, but so happy that this is off of the list now and we don't have to worry about it. We have everything that we need. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye. Look at that fruit float. Just letting these get all nice and clean on the counter. This is water and white vinegar. And then we will destem.